I'm well, sir. Everybody give him a big hand. We're glad he's here. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate the, the radio stations that play our music. And there's not not a great lot of uh, top 40 radio stations won't play it because it's too country, you know. But uh, I might talk to you a little bit about this old record that we just made. My wife and I grew up in a little old town out in West Texas called La Mesa, right? Big Spring. And when we were kids back in the 50s, we'd make the square, you know, every, every night, you know, all the kids would go to the square and see who they could see there that they hadn't seen somewhere else, you know. <laughs> and uh, when they'd get interested in one another, why, they'd say, go to Wall Street. Well, well, there wasn't any Wall Street in La Mesa. It was the South first, but there was two blocks of walls that faced each other. And we were allowed to, to write Pat loves Donna, I mean Don, or Jim loves Bernice or something, you know. And the seniors had all put their names on the walls. And, and that, that was set aside for us to draw on and write on what we wanted to do. So when we go to Wall Street, we, we could just sit there with the doors open and talk and visit with one another. Police would come by and sometimes we'd stop them and give them a ticket for going too slow or not having a loud enough muffler. <laughs> and the old song on there that y'all been listening to for an hour here was different ones, but the old Hot Rod Mercury is an old song I wrote about, kind of about those times. And and uh, you could take a stock muffler down to Ackerley, Texas, and they had a mechanic down there put a straight pipe through that muffler. And then it'd come up right up under your seat, way back under your seat, and you could flip that switch to the, the steep straight pipe and it roared and you strip it the other way why it just sound like a regular muffler and the police would stop and get in there and look and just see that big muffler and hear it you know doing its thing <laughs> think it might be somebody else <laughs> but that was that was kind of the way we grew up I'll sing a little bit of that one they've been playing it but anyway I'll do it a little for you too well I had me a hot rod mercury a 1951 With the sun visor and the fender skirts The Lord I had her under slung Had a little chain around the license plate Suicide knob on the steering wheel Had a little rip in the front seat cover But that weren't no big deal I kept her shined up like a new penny All dressed up so neat she was a classic and more with a four in the floor and a fifth under the front seat. I had a straight pipe running through the muffler with the hideaway toggle switch. That old mercury purred like a kitten until I hit that switch. <laughs> then you better pull down your windows and lock up all of your doors. Believe it or not, for 20 city blocks, you could hear that old mercury roar. Down in La Mesa, Texas, right on the courthouse square. All the guys and all the chicks, well, now they hang out down there. The guys would go one way around the square and the guys around the other. And when we would meet, we would slow it down. Check out one another. And when I met that special girl, one I could adore, I'd reach down, trip it, old toggle switch, and make that old mercury roar. Now if I could just go back to the 50s, and things would be the same. You see me hanging out at the Skyview Drive-In with my Patricia Jane. Hardly 
listening to their music on the jukebox down at the Rexall store. And one more time, I'd like to trip that switch and make that old mercury roar. Make that mercury roar. Make that mercury roar. Just a one more time, I'd like to trip that switch and make that old mercury roar. <laughs> You know, I, I guess that uh, I'm kind of on a crusade to uh, keep the old country music alive from the 40s and 50s and even some of the 60s. <laughs> and uh, it's quite a chore, you know. We, it, you, they, the, the label, they want to send you out uh, with a young band that, and they can't play the music, you know. They, they, it, 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 they, you have to have somebody that knows how to play it, so it's a little tougher for me to tour. I have to take my band with me, so we do a lot of festivals and things like that. But you just, you, it's not, uh, the people that I play with are, are seasoned musicians, and they're, not, they're like me, you know, there's people that can sing, and there's people that can play. Then there's people that's got to play and got to sing, and that's the way our band is. We just got to do it. The whole band will be out at Blancos tonight if any of you is coming that way and you can hear some of the finest musicians in the world. And uh but, do what? Skinny Don. Old oh, Skinny Don and Howard, yeah. Skinny Don's on the bass, Skinny Don Keeling, Howard Kalish on the fiddle, Scott Walls on the steel guitar, and, and Philip Fajardo on the drums. <laughs> I tease old Philip about being a highest been drummer. He, he used to play at George Strait. Used to play with the Gatlin brothers and different ones. Now he's hit bottom. He's playing with us. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have wonderful musicians, and I hope that you enjoy this CD.